cinnamon bear. With Christmas so near at hand, it's hard not to worry about Judy and Jimmy and their search for the Silver Star. After the bad dolls made off with it, Santa Claus sent a detachment of tin soldiers to the rescue. But the tin soldiers had met with unexpected reversals because the bad dolls were being led by someone never before seen in the snow country, a strange green-colored creature whose identity was unknown. But let's listen to Judy, who seems to have some definite ideas on the subject. Oh, green... My goodness, that sounds oh, like... Oh, no, Judy. That just couldn't be possible. Calling Santa Claus. Calling Santa Claus. Yes, yes. What is it now? A maybe grand just received from Queen Melissa of Maybeland. Quote, warning, citizens of Snowland, Santa Claus, Judy, and Jimmy, be on lookout for Winter Green Witch. Oh, Jimmy, I was right. Escape from Looking Glass Valley, assisted by another witch with black cat tattooed on left elbow. Wintergreen last seen flying over bottomless abyss on broomstick, headed for the snow country. Beware, she is dangerous, unquote. Oh, dear. Are we going to have trouble with that awful old witch again? I thought Melissa had gotten rid of her for good. Oh, come, come. Don't get upset, my friends. I think we can take care of the lady. Lady? Hmm. And, Nikki, run over to the airport and order them to send out ten airplanes. And tell them to communicate with me if they need additional men or supplies. And, uh, oh, yes, one more thing, Nikki. I want you to go over... You do? Mm-hmm. Well, what about the, uh, run the... Oh, that. That'll be easy. You just tell them. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, what go goes by? on here? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough, friend Crazy Quilt. Is that all, Santa Claus? Yes, yes, I think so, Nikki. You sure you have everything straight? I think so. Well, you'd better hurry. I have a little surprise for Judy and Jimmy, and I'll need you. Right. I'll be back in a jiffy. Uh, now, of course, you children may not care for surprises, uh, uh, or do you? Of course we do, Santa. Well, if you're sure you do, close your eyes, all of you. Am I to be included in this, uh, what do you think is going to happen, a business? Why, certainly. And patio cinnamon, too. Oh, my. <laughs> I do hope it's cinnamon buns. Always thinking of your tummy. How materialistic. Now, 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 no peeking there, crazy quilt. Keep those purple patch eyelids closed tight. (laughs) Now, I'll take hold of your hand, Judy, and yours, Jimmy. Well, how about me, Santa? It's dark in here. In where? In here. Well, what I mean is it's dark inside me when I got my eyes closed. Well, you and crazy quilt can hang on to Judy and Jimmy's free hands. Just a minute. Uh, there we are. We're all set. All right, now. Come along. <laughs> My goodness, but this is exciting. Where do you suppose he's taking us? I've no idea, Judy. Utterly no idea. Oh, ooh, I bumped into a step or something that time. Do we go up, Santa? Yes, Jimmy, just a few steps. <laughs> and how easy there. Just a few. Take it easy, everybody. <laughs> Here we are. Now we can all sit down. Oh, 
Oh, my extra special stuffing. Oh. What's the matter, Cinnamon Bear? Did you fall? No. I just sat down where there wasn't anything to sit on, that's all. Oh, just a minute, Patio Cinnamon. Just a minute. Ah, there you are. <laughs> you comfy? Yes. Thanks. There, that's something like it. Uh, uh, would it be permissible to open our eyes now, uh, Santa Claus? Oh, oh, no, no, not just yet. I'll tell you when. All right, Major Muffy, carry on. <laughs> you can open your eyes now and open them wide. My way. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. Jumping yeah. gee willikers. <laughs> Bless my stuffing, what a big haul. <laughs> my sainted crazy quilt aunt. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> that great big Christmas tea. Why, it's bigger than the one in the store downtown. It sure is. Lots bigger. Gee, I have to put my head way back to see the top of it. And all those colored lights. Why, there must be a million of them. A million and a half, to be exact, Judy. That big domed roof with the lights on it. Uh, would that be made of glass now? Well, not exactly. Something quite like it, but stronger, more substantial. Uh, one of my own inventions. It, it's just so big and so beautiful, with all the lovely toys and lights and everything. Well, it just kind of takes your breath away. <laughs> you like it, children? You bet. It's the most gorgeous thing I ever saw. Is this your throne we're sitting next to, Santa? It's such a fancy-looking chair. Mm, it is fancy, isn't it? Uh, uh, frankly, I wouldn't have had such an elaborate one with all these jewels and carvings, but the workmen in my factory made it for me last year on my birthday. And, of course, I wouldn't hurt their feelings for anything. Uh, uh, would you mind, Santa, if I went down there where you have the electric train? and I hesitate to admit it, but I have a perfect passion for them. Never could resist anything mechanical. <laughs> That's not all you can't resist. Don't you let him do it, Santa Claus, or you'll find something else missing for sure. Oh, pay no heed to this glorified bath mat, Santa. It's Paddy O'Cinnamon who needs watching. Why, he's had his eyes on those rubber elephants and toy giraffes ever since he opened them. Indeed, and I have not. I was only staring at the big Christmas tree. Now, 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 boys, you must stop your quarreling. <laughs> I think the best way for us to see all the toys is to take a little ride in my miniature train. <laughs> Gee, Williker, Santa, have you got a train you can ride in and everything? I certainly have, Jimmy. And what's more, I'm going to let you drive it for us. Hmm? Come along now. Gee, that's swell. Did you hear that, Judy? I'm going to drive the train. Oh, it's wonderful. Everything's wonderful. Hurry up, Cinnamon Bear. I'm coming, Judy. Hey, Crazy Quill, keep away from those toy steam shovels. You're up to get your face lifted. All right, here's the train, Jimmy. Right over behind the Christmas tree. Gee, it's a pip. Why, it's just like a locomotive almost. How does it run? Well, I'll show you in a minute. Now, Judy, you just get in the cab with Jimmy. I'll sit right behind you, and Patio Cinnamon can share the back seat with Crazy Quill. Oh, I have to sit with him, huh? Too bad you haven't got a caboose, Santa Claus. That's where Crazy belongs. Is that so? Well, I'll have All you All right, know. everybody ready? I'll say we are. Will you show me how to drive it now? You bet I will, Jimmy. You see that lever? Uh-huh. You push that just as far as it will go. Then step on that pedal by your left foot. That starts the motor. Like that? That's right. Now the pedal. Boy, oh boy, we're off. <laughs> now when you want to stop, Jimmy, just pull the lever back. You got it? You bet. Hey, how you doing back there, Crazy Quill? Just so-so. Bit stuffy. You never know what you'll meet up with on a train. If you're referring to me, Applesauce. Oh, Jimmy, look at the hundreds and hundreds of beautiful dolls. Gee, and would you take a look at all those bicycles and, and scooters and the toy tractors and... And there's and... the toy band we saw in the storeroom. Mm-hmm, and over here's the military division. Some of the best tin and wooden soldiers we ever turned out. I'm very proud of them. Just look at those roly-poly dolls. They remind me of that roly-poly policeman we met on the island of Obi. Now we're passing the animal kingdom. Elephants and camels and monkeys on sticks. Animals of every description. No crazy quilt dragons, however. I should hope not. One is enough. Santa Claus! Huh? Santa Claus! Oh, here's Nicky Frudely back again. Stop the train, Jimmy. All right, Santa Claus. 
All right, all out now. Oh, Come on. Hey, Easy there. Oh, <laughs> all out. <laughs> Everything ready now, Nikki? All ready, sir. Do you know what Santa Claus? No. What, Judy? I was just noticing all the little dolls and soldiers and toy animals are standing perfectly still. Just like they were waiting for something. That's right, Judy. They are waiting for something. What? Well, just to make certain all my toys will know how to behave when I take them out into the world, I put them through a special rehearsal under the big Christmas tree. And while they're marching, my supervisors inspect them. So that's what my toys are waiting for, Judy and Jimmy. The Christmas tree parade. A parade? Jiminy Cricket, Santa, are we going to see it? <laughs> you are, Jimmy, and right this very minute. <laughs> oh, Major Muffy, proceed with the Christmas tree parade. the parade was on. Yes, yes, Nicky. What is it? What is it? Captain Tintop is waiting in your office. Captain Tintop? Yes, sir. And he's got the Silver Star. Well, that's the nicest news Judy and Jimmy have heard in a long time. The Silver Star is safe and sound. At least, we hope it is. But I'm not going to congratulate anybody until I've seen Captain Tintop return it in person. 